Blender. Camera lens. Which one should you learn? I hear this question all the time, and after using both for years, I've come to a realization. It's the wrong question. Because choosing between one and the other isn't about which one's better, but there's a much more important question you need to ask yourself. But first, let me explain. I started learning Blender back in 2020 and I quickly became obsessed. I could create effects, visuals and animations just like in the big movies, all on my own computer. But then a few years ago, Unreal Engine caught my eye and it completely changed my workflow. Fast forward to today, I've now spent countless hours in Blender and Unreal Engine and I want to share what I've learned about both. To help you decide not just which one is best for you to learn, but to ask yourself a much more important question. What do I actually want to make? Blender and Unreal Engine are both very similar and very different at the same time. They're both free and packed full of 3D potential. They're both very popular with 3D artists and storytellers but serve very different purposes. And depending on your vision, one might suit your needs more than the other. Blender is an all-in-one 3D tool which can do animation, rigging, modelling, texturing and lots lots more. If you want complete control of your project, Blender is the better one to go with. Unreal Engine, on the other hand, is a game engine by Epic Games, which isn't just used for gaming, it's also very popular amongst virtual production and animation. But this is where Blender and Unreal Engine overlap. Cinematics. Both can be used to create stunning visuals which bring your worlds and visions to life. Okay, so you're decided, you're going to learn CGI. You've got your idea, you just need to pick a software and get creating. Should be easy, right? Okay, so now let's talk about learning them. Now it's important to acknowledge the relatively steep learning curve. I wouldn't say either is particularly easier or more difficult than the other. In addition to the tools and UI, there's a whole skill in learning how to take what you imagined and turn it into a finished product. It requires a lot of time and patience. Now my background in Blender did help me learn Unreal Engine because I already understood things like origin points, meshes, vertexes, UV mapping, all concepts that apply equally to Blender as Unreal Engine. Personally for me, Unreal Engine was a lot harder to learn. Despite my background in Blender, I still felt overwhelmed by quite a lot of the concepts in Unreal Engine. Okay, now it's worth noting that in Blender, I'd only redone animations and cinematics. Whereas in Unreal Engine, I was learning game design, which is a completely different thing. So no wonder I was feeling a bit overwhelmed and confused. But that also brings me to a key lesson I learned, which is no matter how much you know, there's always going to be a lot more that you don't know. And so with either program, it's important to realise you won't know everything and learning takes time. Okay, so the path to learning is difficult, but is there anything you can do to help you along your path? Luckily, there are a few. The first is... Both softwares have amazing online communities full of tutorials, Discord servers, forums, which serve as an amazing resource when you're just starting. And what's great is that no matter what path you choose, animation, character design, game, cinematics, there's already a huge support group there ready to help. You've also got countless plugins, extras, which can improve your workflow and make things easier to make. Taking things that were previously a long, complicated and tiring process and just like turn it into a click of a button. Both softwares have their own asset stores where in addition to plugins, you can get models, characters and all kinds of other extras. In addition to that, there are plenty of third party ones as well. Blender has Blender Market. Meanwhile, Unreal Engine has Fab. Though both are great, in my personal opinion, Unreal Engine has the better asset store. I like that it features free assets, and not just because we all like free assets. Because we all do. Because it allows me to quickly and easily populate my scene, so I can get straight to the fun, expressive parts. And also with a lot of samples, it allows you to dissect them, and therefore you can use them for your own learning purposes. Okay, so we've covered an overview, and we've covered the learning process. Now I think it's a good opportunity to look at something in a bit more detail. So it wouldn't be fair to compare Blender's sculpting and modelling tools with Unreal's. And it wouldn't be fair to compare Unreal Engine's game engine with Blender's as it's lacking one. Both programs are very, very different in intention. So because of that, I'm going to look at a key area of overlap, which is cinematics. 
Both offer high quality cinematic and still rendering. Both offer real-time rendering and path trace rendering, allowing for realistic lighting and added realism. So both programs can be used to create realistic cinematics. Now, I am more used to doing cinematics in Blender, but two aspects I really love about Unreal Engine so far are that the real-time rendering is super high quality. That allows you to compose and light your scenes and instantly see what your final shot is gonna be like. This allows you less guesswork and less time waiting on renders to develop, allowing you to make quicker progress and to get the exact shots you're looking for. And the other one was the sheer number of assets at my disposal. I love being able to quickly and instantly populate a whole scene and focus on creating the exact mood I'm wanting without having to go to other websites. It just feels like a much more streamlined workflow. There are some aspects I like more in Blender and maybe that's just because of my inexperience in Unreal Engine, but I like having the extra control over especially assets and props, being able to adjust and remodel them as necessary just to get them exactly how you want them without having to sort of export them to Blender just to re-import them back. It's really down to whatever preference you have and ask yourself, what exactly do you want to get from this? But getting a good cinematics is only partly to do with environment, lighting, assets. There's also animation. Animating in Unreal Engine does have some drawbacks as the animation tools are relatively new compared to other software, which means workflows can be less streamlined, especially if you're coming from a background in animating. Blender's animation workflow, however, is much more in keeping with standard practices. If you're coming from Maya or Blender's animation tools are actually amazing and is used by many indie studios and they've produced some award-winning and absolutely outstanding animations. Now there are many indie studios that use Blender. Blender, despite being great, is very often called not for professionals, with companies often choosing to go with Cinema 4D, Maya or 3ds Max. Now why is that? Well, I'm not really the best person to say. From what I understand, it's more to do with already having established and workflows with the other software. But with Blender's ever increasing uptake and increasing progress, Who's to say what's gonna happen in the future? The knowledge and skills, however, that you learn using Blender should be relatively straightforward to transfer onto other softwares. Unreal Engine is a game engine used by both AAA studios and indie developers, and its uptake is on the rise. This allows you to seamlessly join existing studios' workflows and processes. In addition to that, it's also being used for automotive rendering, film, architecture, and virtual production. Just to quickly touch on performance, I'm by no means an expert. I really am not. Unreal Engine is a huge giant beast of a program which can really take up a lot of space in your hard drive. And this can be a big barrier for some people in learning it. Blender on the other hand has much smaller file sizes, meaning even lower spec machines can run it. All right, so I've talked about the strengths of both. Now, take a second, close your eyes and imagine your dream project. What does it look like? What is your ultimate goal? Because that's gonna tell you which software is a better fit. If your focus is to create 3D models, whether that be character designs, props, environments and buildings, then Blender might be the better choice because it allows you to craft and get into the nitty gritty of the models. Now Unreal Engine does also feature these things, but currently they're more of a tool to keep work in Engine if you want to carry out any adjustments. If game development is your dream, then you should go with Unreal Engine, or one of the other game engines. Being free to download, it makes being able to learn game development very accessible. It makes creating your first game project easier than ever. Blender is still useful for game production though. It allows you to create assets and characters. It's just, it's more of an accompaniment for game design that goes with Unreal Engine. But what if you want to make cinematics? Well, in that case, you have a choice to make. It is entirely dependent on your preferences and goals. Both are equally powerful, with Blender giving you slightly more control of the finer details, whilst Unreal Engine allows you to populate your scenes in no time, in a manner that is very beginner friendly, so it entirely depends on your circumstances. Here's the thing though, I've been a bit misleading with the title, and I hope you've stuck around. The truth is, Blender and Unreal is not a battle. They aren't on opposite sides fighting each other. They're not competitors, they're partners in creativity. Here's how. 
You see, the two softwares are on opposite ends facing off against one another. They work best when used together, allowing you to use the strengths of both and combine the best of both worlds. So whatever you end up choosing, whether it's Blender, Unreal Engine or both, just jump in and try. You'll never know what you'll create. So if you found this helpful and interesting, please feel free to check out one of my other videos. Bye.